Welcome to the Generational Gamer. I have a problem. The problem is that the RetroTINK does not accept 480p as an input. It outputs to 480p, but it will not input to 480p. Which means the PSP does not want to connect properly to the RetroTINK and output to my TV. I have tried turning off the line doubling. I have tried all kinds of things and none of them work. So here is an example of what you see when you connect it through progressive scan, inputting to the retro tank and component cables. If only there was another way! Look what arrived today. The HD cable for the PSP by Level Hike. So, it arrives in a pretty unassuming box and package. So, seriously, this is it right here. But not a problem. Let's move that out of the way. And then we have the box with the mode in the game, and then the HDMI cable. Let's take a look at it. So what do we have here? So this is the box, and I'm not entirely sure what menu and game actually do, but I guess we'll find out. And then this is what plugs into the bottom of the PlayStation Portable. So right off the bat, upon plugging this in, I can honestly say it would be very beneficial if this wire was on this side. And the reason I say that is, you notice I had to open my case just to be able to fit it in there. See, look at this. When my PSP case is actually shut and I plug it in, it's blocked. I don't know if anybody else has a PSP case like this, but um, mine does not like it. So I have to open up the bottom. Not a huge deal, but now it's exposed. Let's try it out. So this is what I've done with this so far. It is currently in menu mode. And the reason it's in menu mode is because the game mode does this. See, now it's very difficult to see anything, but it's not designed for this. It's designed to play a game. So why don't we do that? You can never go wrong with Dracula. So with this one, the colors look pretty good. I like it. Um, and quite frankly, it's the only way I've been able to connect my PSP to my large-scale TV. I will be connecting it to the M Classic as well, just to see how well it does. So far, so good.
I clearly notice an aspect ratio problem here. The game otherwise plays pretty good, but there's clearly an aspect ratio problem. Time for my final thoughts. With this particular cable, I have very little to gripe about. For a $30 adapter, this one works pretty well. The colors are slightly off, not nearly as noticeable as on the PlayStation 2, or any of the Hyperkin or Pound cables. Overall, this one's pretty good. It does what it's supposed to do. My only real gripe with it is that the wire that's connected should be flipped around. Just because if you have a case, the wire gets in the way. So I had to open mine in order for it to work. But like I said, Overall, it's pretty good. It does what it's supposed to do. I don't have nearly as much to gripe about as in the PS2 version. So give it a try, if you're so inclined. Have a good one, like, subscribe, and see you in the comments. Bye. If you got this far, you probably like the video. Well, how about checking out some of these other ones? And if you like them too, please subscribe. Have a good one. Bye.